Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to Back to the Future, Episode Three. Uh, so we're trying to figure out how to get into see uh, Doc Brown. Apparently, he only comes out when you piss him off. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do that. Huh. Nice. Real nice, Jennifer. What are you doing now? Leech in the whoosh bags. I've never heard of him. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Yeah, what the fuck? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Uh, you left me stranded? What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. I do like her eyes, though. Breaking the so rules. Do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Public displays of affection? This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew. Ew. Okay, let's protest the PDA law. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. Okay. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. Go fig. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Yes. Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Okay, okay, I'll give you that one. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend? Huh. Oh, lighten up. Nice. Real nice. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? Uh... You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. What about me? Okay. Wait, 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 hang on. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. All right, fine. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! I still have to figure out how to do this on my own. Cause she's not going to help me. You'd think that breaking a billboard would count as some kind of demerit. I mean, it's breaking government property, maybe? Ah, soy mud. Teflon coated walls and shit. Look out, son! Uh, is that his mom? Okay. Mom? Uh, yeah, let's go talk to her. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, that I gray. just don't. I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. What's wrong with him? So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. Okay. I'll be polishing the statue all day. <laughs> oh, Have you gone there for right. a second? Okay. What's with the golf cart, Mom? 
Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Ouch. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. No, dude, Don't you can't forget even... forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. You can't even show affection between family members? That's bullshit. Alright, let's go. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. See what the house looks like. Made of white bricks and Teflon. Oh, actually, it looks kind of normal. Kind of. Kind of normal. Caution tape. That's not good. It does look kind of eerie, though. Like, oh, God. Fucking cameras. I don't know, John. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? What if this is Brown's watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. Ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Another what? Another in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. What are you looking for? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? What? Uh... What? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Uh, okay. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, okay. I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might um... as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Uh, no, no way. I don't believe it. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially? Not everybody appreciates it. A no. great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't no. say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh. Again? <laughs> You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy. Well, you get the idea. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. 
Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Well, maybe I can do it. I'll do it. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure, not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll yeah, leave supervising. You to it. Right. Okay. Hey, what for? Hey, guitar. Good day. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Thanks. Dude, fuck you, dude. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Mm -hmm. A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you oh, fixated Martin. on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further up. Dick. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Fine. Alright, so I'm going to take that guitar to town. Another day dry? Yeah. You just know that, like, <laughs> fucking Doc, he's not even the one running this town. It's all about his wife. Okay, so... Mom? Uh, Mom, are you, a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? Uh, no! God, that's Lorraine, creepy. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of... Can I knock this thing around? Okay, what if I just keep doing it? Ah, now it's blocking the camera. Uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? A rocket. Yes. She's gonna go over there and get fucking tipped out. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. So what are we gonna do? Just take it? This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Um... 
Well, I have a guitar and a flask. Oh! Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. For what? There goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. Decycling? With pleasure, ma'am. The fuck? You just call it the trash can. Keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Uh, really? What else can I do? Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Good thing I'm not hungry. Good. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're totally making out in there. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more, yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Um, free samples? Where are the free samples? Here, I keep them behind the counter. Hmm. What the fuck are those? Oh god. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I I can't finish this. Not my problem. Gross. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. All right. See ya. Smell you later. So what am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <coughs> Go get him, McFly! <coughs> okay, that was Einstein, and he had a fucking muzzle on. Can't really be Einstein, though, can it? Since he was left in 31. It's alright. Um... There we go. He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. The fuck am I? What if I take out the hot? Do yeah, hot dog. Fucking bet me. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Okay. Can I just wave it around a little bit and be like, "Come here, dog." Decency prevents me from leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Stay put now, boy. Wherever you are. There he is. Not a sign of him. Ah. Fine. I'll go the other way then. Question though, if dogs have been banned from Hill Valley, then why are they on top of the courthouse? You know, the statues. So what do I do with the spray paint? If I spray paint that plank, then I'll be able to tell where he goes. It would look better blue. Plus, it counts as vandalism. One step closer to meeting Citizen Brown. Okay, good. So he goes up there. And then I can get up there. So hopefully now I can figure out where the fucking dog went. Now we're in business. There we go. Little shit. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Oh, That's not like actually that, Einstein. Einstein. It's not actually Einstein, it's one of his descendants. Einstein, is that your name in this timeline too? Probably not. It's probably just a wild <laughs> Guess dog. Guess not. Well, give him a weenie. I mean, don't give him your weenie, just give him a weenie. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. 
See? He can be dangerous. I'm not such a bad guy, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? Ah, there we go. Einstein, wait. No. <laughs> rabies, rabies, help. Back. Yes, rabies. Down. Sit. Play dead. Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once. Einstein, sit. Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait. I know that creature. Uh, Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's yeah. right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched. Beast. Don't worry, Aini. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Well, what if I do? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, if you know I what remember. I mean. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Yeah? Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? <laughs> I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. Okay. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly? What's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? Is this gonna be a mini game? Rock? Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Great. Oh god. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I just. Just copying each other or what? Oh shit, I fucked up. You cut my cord, you asshole. Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your up. prize, champ. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. Well, back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. So I still haven't figured out how to get in to see Doc. I'm trying to collect as many demerits as I can, but apparently it's a little harder to be a badass than I thought it would be. So drop me down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos for me. But I'll chill with you next time. But until then, Stay frosty. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. What are you doing? Uh, Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Ever.